Well, we remain under a Denver 7 weather action day in part because of the heavy smoke caused by the wildfires here on the map. Within the hour, fire crews updated the size of the Pine Gulch fire. It is now 135,920 acres and remains the second largest wildfire ever in Colorado. And overnight, firefighters announced that the Grizzly Creek fire, this is the one near Glenwood Springs, is now 61% contained, and it's now the closest of the four to full containment. But there is a new problem, potential problem, in the area burned by the Grizzly Creek fire, floods. A flash flood watch is in effect for I-70 through Glenwood Canyon tonight. Since there is heavy rain in the forecast, that could lead to mudslides or any uh, other debris flows. And this Colorado weather always keeps us guessing, <laughs> and that is why we have our experts like Stacy Donaldson to... Give us some give us some info, Stace. Hi. Hey there. Yes, did you hear the loud thunder here across the Denver Metro? We've had some scattered showers move through, washing out a little bit of that smoke from the atmosphere, thank goodness. And we also have some rain cooled air. Temperatures in the 70s right now. And we'll stay in the 70s for the next few hours as we head through our night. We'll be at 77 degrees by 9 o'clock and 75 by 11 o'clock. Now, our temperatures will be in the 90s for just one more day. And then we'll have cooler air showing up on Friday, finally. And then even cooler on Monday. But this afternoon, we tied a record afternoon high of 97 degrees today. 93 in Fort Collins, 99 in Burlington, and 101 for La Junta with upper 90 for the Grand Junction area as well. Normally, our average high, we should be around 86 degrees, but we are about 10 degrees above that today, uh, setting that new record at 97, which was previously set in 2015. But here are those storms, a little lightning with this as well, moving off to the east at this point. So we're keeping a close eye on them. We don't have any watches or warnings for those thunderstorms, but some not much needed rain moving on through. We still have poor air quality, which is why we have the action day in effect tomorrow for the front range and parts of the eastern plains. There are those flash flood watches you were just talking about for the rain off to our west. As for those scattered showers near Fort Morgan and New Raymer, they are still moving off to the east and the same for Colorado Springs. So a lot to watch as we head through to this afternoon and this evening, but we still have lots of wildfire smoke affecting the front range and the plains over the last 24 hours and it will continue into the next 24. As for our overnight lows tonight, we are going to fall into the 60s. We have a few scattered thunderstorms moving through at this point, but the more severe weather is up toward Minneapolis and into the Great Lakes. So a quiet evening for us, depending on where you are. It's going to be hotter on the southwest side of town. Temperature still 90 degrees, but we have rain-cooled air here in Denver. But our overnight lows tonight will be in the 60s, low 90s tomorrow afternoon. And as I mentioned, just one more hot day here for the area 70s and 80s off to our west. Our hiking forecast looking good. Temperatures in the 80s with a few scattered showers. And look at that, 83 for our high on Friday, but just wait, 75 on Monday. It'll be feeling fallish. We'll have temperatures in the low to mid 80s in through the middle of next week, but finally a break from this record-breaking heat here for the Front Range. We are ready for a break. Thank you, Stacy.